Supposed was one, two, three. The audio was a giant mess, just to let you know. And this is what it is. Hey guys, it's False Fools123 and this is day 5 of our vlogging challenge. So right now I thought I'd do something a little different and come walk with me. Today I'll be walking around to Oak Street Park and I'll just show you the paths I like to take from the neighborhoods and all the other cool little things I like to do. Anyway, so one moment while I flip the camera and then let's get started. When I walk down to Oak Street Park I always like to take a walk through um, what is it? Southwestern Oregon Community College. It's the college that I used to go to when I was a culinary student, and it has an absolutely beautiful campus. We'll have to take a walk sometime so we can show you all of the beautiful statues and other places that are from the college. Maybe say hello to some of my old friends here, that type of thing. Anyway, I can see we're walking down what is called, I believe, College Way. I can never remember. I'll look at the street sign and tell you in a bit. But I remember the first time I came down here, and I'm zooming down this little street, I'm going to park me and I come up here, and I'm thinking, how in the hell do I get around here? Well, you know, there's a lot of signs, and it's not as difficult as it seems when you first come to college. This campus always seems so big, but for the time that you've actually been around here a couple weeks, you know, it doesn't make a heap of difference. Anyway, so, my bad. The road that's going along here that these cars come out is called South College Road. This is a I can't quite remember what it's called. Anyway, this building up here is called the Southwestern City Recreation Center. We have the gym there, we have a basketball court, and we have, I guess, locker rooms, a couple auxiliary rooms for things like yoga or like Zumba, or whatever else people do. Ah, entryway. See? Now you blame me for forgetting it? Nah. But basically I used to actually do a lot of, um, I used to get the gym all the time when I was actually the first semester of college. I'd eat some nice big old fattening lunch and then I'd go and jog on the treadmill for about an hour. Didn't do a lick of good to actually deal with my weight. Lost most of my weight actually by just, um, you know, that was about a year after I put up my freshman 15. I lost my freshman 15, surprisingly. And I started dieting. I figured in, you know, calories in, calories out. And trust me, I know about nutrition. I was not worried. Like I said, I literally was getting trained in how to be a nutritional person. Also, can we just appreciate these clouds that are happening today? That is absolutely some beautiful formations. But yeah, I... Got opened up my health app on my phone. I started plugging in, like, you know, all the food I ate, tracking my macronutrients, tracking my caloric intake. And for me, I tend to eat, you know, I'm not a huge dessert fan. I don't eat a lot of junk food. The only time I really, the only time I spend my money on food is really when I'm eating out. And then it's like, you know, if I'm getting somebody else's prepared meal, it's going to have some nutrients to it. And that's also when I realized that Starbucks is fucking trash. I'm sorry, but I don't trust a drink that is worth at least an entire meal. If one drink is half of my daily caloric intake for the day, that's trash. So this little trail that we're coming up to is... It doesn't actually have a name because there's a little footpath. But this actually heads out of the college. It's just this real small area that connects the whole Oak Street neighborhood to the college. And you can see why I definitely like to walk along. It's a little nice piece of greenery. And it's kind of like a place that you don't really see in the college very much. Over here is a clearing and there's not really much back there. Sometimes you'll find some matters, some sort of matters of settlement there, but Generally, I try to stay away from any place that's, you know, if there's people there, I don't want to bother them. Because I know if I was living in a situation where I was sleeping, you know, like, in the woods, I probably wouldn't want to be bothered. So, this is the neighborhood I was telling you about. This is Fur and Clark at the moment. Real beautiful houses. And so, yeah, it's just like you a really wonderful neighborhood that I love walking around. And... Ah, oh, thank goodness. 
for a second I might I thought I might be having the microphone on the other end but hopefully you actually get the sound of that so now I'm gonna stop waving my camera around making you all seasick probably oh yeah but I remember the first time I actually walked down to Oak Street I was pretty new in town and I had gotten into geocaching actually so I had to pick it up one day and I'm just like, I'm going to geocache. Went down Dominguez first, and then I found, like, this little geocache one that was, um, set up in Oak Street Park. One of the, um, I don't really know what you would call it. I don't know if it was a deacon or if it was just a, um, parishioner. That, oh, that's not the right word. Anyway, one of the members of the congregation down at Oak Street Church was doing some geocaching, and he hid it in the rocks around the sign. I wasn't able to find it, but yeah, truth be told, I wasn't able to find any of the geocaches. I was so bad at it. But we actually have a really wonderful geocache community in the area, so I'm sure if I ever want to get started in it again, I'll have a whole lot of fun. Yeah. I walked in down, I didn't really know jack shit about the area, so I mostly just enjoyed myself. So Oak Street Park is, it's pretty small actually, just a little pocket sized camp that you have. One of the nice things though is that it does have water fountains and it does have pretty decent public restrooms. You don't always get good public restrooms in parks like Mingus, not Mingus. Mingus is okay when it comes to bathrooms and the only bathrooms in Topisville, which is trust me a lot bigger, is a crappy little porta potty that have to do them with toilet paper. Yikes. And then just then there's some cedar block bathrooms over oh. next to the I guess dog park area. It's not a dog park but that's where everyone gets to take because you have this like direct I don't even know how to describe it. Give me a second. And then they actually have some cedar block some real bathrooms on the other side of the park, which is right next to the entrance. Oh, yeah. There's multiple entrances to Topazville because, you know, huge park, but that's really the main one. That's the one with the pretty sign and all that other stuff. So right now we've been walking down, I believe this was Clark Street for a while, and we're about to turn onto Oak. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. A lot of places around here, they're just suburbs. And that's one of the things I definitely like about the whole North Bend area around here. Technically, we're in Coos Bay, but this bleeds into North Bend real quickly. There's, there's a lot of really beautiful neighborhoods if you live on the side of town. Other than the yellow apartments in Newmark, and that place is a death trap. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see around here, we have a little Tito Tata sign to let you know about the Sicilians. The children, the we you know what they're called. And then we have some sort of sports field over here. Not much of a sports person, you know, I think it's baseball. All I know is it's some form of athletics. Anyway. Yeah. And we're actually walking up an Oak Street Park. So Oak Street Park has a really wonderful playground. It has just a lot of a nice bit of natural beauty in the area. Yeah, just give you a beautiful look at all of 